Welcome to Royal Court, where kings and queens hold court. I'm Troy Everett. I'm with me. Today we're going to recap the big fight. Javante De Tank Davis versus Ryan Garcia. It's going to be a recap. Uh, it was a great fight. It happened this past weekend. Uh, Sharif, what do you think? Man, I think it was a great fight. And um, I give, uh, what's the name, uh, Ryan Garcia in his pocket. Because he did what he did, but I thought he, what? I think he should have took his time, a couple more rounds, then start swinging to figure him out. But Tank was there figuring him out. Yeah, Tank was taking in all the data for the first couple of rounds. Got that, what was that, the second round knockdown. Um, it just... When when people say there's levels to boxing, there's levels. There's no way Ryan Garcia was on any type of level. He has a good punch, so he had a puncher's chance, but that but that's about it. Yep. Um, yeah, leading up to the fight, there was a lot of people talking about the dehydration clause, right, for Ryan Garcia. So Ryan Garcia couldn't rehydrate to over a certain amount. Oh. I think it was one forty four. Right, so he had to weigh under 144. And I think they both came in at 144, about 144. Um, but man, it, it takes the truth. I'm gonna say this I haven't been this excited to watch a boxer since Mike Tyson. Yeah, I agree with you because this is what boxing needs. This is what they need. They need to fight each other instead of just talking. Fight, yes. fight each other. I know they're doing the social media and they're making money in the social media. Back in the day, nobody had was making money in the social media. But now it's down in 23, and this was a great, a great fight. That's exciting. Yeah, and that, that's basically how Ryan Garcia got this fight. Yeah. Ryan Garcia got this fight because he's a TikTok champ. That's what I call him. He's got a lot of followers. I mean, he's a handsome young guy. Uh, people follow him on TikTok. He has millions and millions of followers. So, you know, Golden Boy, um, yep. Golden Boy promotions jumped on this. But I think they destroyed they destroyed uh, the legacy of Ryan Garcia. I, he'll never be the same. Yeah, but, but I'll tell you what, he wasn't betting. I thought he did have fought two more times. Two different people. Then what? Um, yeah, well, that's what um, Oscar De La Hoya wanted him to do. Wanted him to fight some more prior to doing it. But then what I think, you know, with the promotion, you know, the promotions and, you know, what Tank Davis did to Floyd Mayweather and went off on his own. So for those who don't know, he is on his own. Uh, Ellaby, Ellaby is his consult consultant. So he's not with, you know, uh, is not with uh, uh, Mayweather. Floyd Moore, Mayweather promotions anymore. He's on his own, <clears throat> right? Which is good, which is really good. And he can good. learn from all of those people uh, how to conduct business. He still keeps those people around, you know, keeps them around for the business. He keeps his trainer, stays with his trainer. And that's one thing that I kind of want to talk about is after the fight, there was a post-fight conference and Ryan Garcia his promoters weren't there his trainer wasn't there it was his father and somebody that nobody knows about but on Tank's side you had his trainer and his promoters you know you had his trainer and you also had you know everybody that was behind Tank uh, but uh, De La Hoya and um Bernard Hopkins didn't show up for the uh, the the after fight the, conference. The press conference, you press know. Uh, yep, they did they did support him all the way through from the beginning to the end. You know, and you gotta back it up the best you can. You know, but Ryan tried, he tried, but he rushed, he rushed. You know, but if he would have took his time, it, it would have been a couple more rounds. You know. Yeah, I think if he would have took his time. Um, there's one thing that I did notice about Tank. If there's a if there's a chink in his armor, he don't like pressure. He don't like pressure. 
if you fo- if you throw more than you know three or four punches and keep coming, he doesn't like it. Uh, we saw we saw with the Roly, even though he knocked Roly out, he had problems when you keep swinging. Even with um, uh, Pitbull, Pitbull just kept coming forward. Yep. So I think that's something that his his team will look at uh, when it comes to pressure. And you notice Mike Tyson also had problems with volume punchers. Yeah, right, right. But you know, not not only that, they're a lot taller than him too, and he had to come in, and he had to come in. No, but if uh, Ryan would uh, um, keep that jab, I mean, if he used that jab more, he need to work on his jab. The jab wasn't, you know, sharp enough. You no, know? yeah. but if he had like a uh, Floyd Mayweather or or a senior, would be um, uh, we call it um, trainer for him. I think he would. They would made him better working on the jab. I would really like to see Guzan's record. Guzan was the trainer for um, Ryan Garcia. I've seen Guzan over the years. Uh, um, let me look. You know, Ryan needs the um, foot wound. Yeah. He doesn't have the foot wound. With the all flat feet. I mean, well, that's what a lot of boxers are doing now. You know, but he does go up in 140. 140, so that's his way. That's his way that he needs to go through 140. Yeah, go. definitely, definitely needs to go 140. Mm-hmm. I mean, you got Telefimo. I think uh, Telefimo is in that weight class. There's a lot of, a lot of good fighters in that weight class, but I, I still don't see him at a top as a top tier boxer. No head movement. When he pulls back, he pulls straight back. His defense isn't that good. As you can see, he's got a glass jaw because there's a couple of times he's been he's been put on the canvas with with a with a simple punch. Do you think he could have continued? Um, no, no. After after he got hit in the stomach, after he got in the stomach, he lost his breath. But at the same time, if he would have come back and tried, no, no, you can see that in his face, and you can see um, Tank Tank was like, "Oh, I got you." That's the weak area. No, and him coming after that one again. No, so he was like, I'm done. Yeah, well, Tank said that prior to the fight. He says, you get hurt to the body. There's a, a, a post out there where he kind of commented that Ryan Garcia has a weak body. So uh-huh. that body shot put him down. He took the, I mean, he took the nine count. But if you still, I don't know. It's hard to say because you're not in the ring and you didn't get hit with that liver shot. But... It looked like it just clipped him, you know. It wasn't like it was a full force shot. So I'm thinking he could have, he could have at least tried to stand for the think. ten count. No, because Tank was coming, coming to more. He's coming to more. He's about, he's about to knock him out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, because you know when you um when you swinging when you swinging you lost that breath. Then when you get hit, you got no control of it. Right. No, but but it wasn't like it, it didn't even look like it was real high, but you know it, it, it was high, but it wasn't real high. But when he was under, when he would have both gloves, in, he been watching that the whole time while he was swinging. You know, mm-hmm. the whole time he told him to get him right there, so he got him right there with the boom. Then that's when he caught him while he was swinging yeah. and hit and tank got hit right there too, both at the yep. same time. And he's. He, he was definitely watching that as he as he was ducking under Gar- Garcia's jab and his hook because he was ducking the hook. He got hit a couple times, but nothing nothing really solid. Uh, but yeah, like I said, man, Tank is the truth. Tank is the absolute truth. He is the face of boxing right now. Oh, um, going forward, uh, who would you like to see him fight? Man, you know what? I would love to see him fight Shakur Stevenson. Shakur Stevenson, yeah. I would like to see that fight. If I was his promoter or if I was his team, I would say, hey, let's take up a, let's take some time off. Uh, let's take some time mm-hmm. off. We're in no mm-hmm. rush to do it. Tank. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah, if I was Tank's people, I would say, hey, let's take some time off. Enjoy this win. And let's think about what's next. 
when we can take our time because they're, they're going to definitely Shakur is probably on on the list because they're in the same weight class and he's up and coming but I don't think that would be a big draw compared to him and Haney or him and Lomachenko oh, because I'll tell you what I will take a loan out if he fights Lomachenko if Lomachenko beats Devin Haney I will take a loan out to go to Vegas to see, or wherever it's at, to see Lomachenko versus Tank Davis. I think that would be the greatest fight it, it, by far in the last 10 years. Oh, yeah. But he's older now. He's older now, so he has to be Devin Hannon. No, but uh, Devin Hannon, he's um, got the long reach. Like mm-hmm. I said, he need to go up to 140, but... He might have trouble with, um, if um, uh, Lomitano come closer to him and move him around more. Yeah, I think it's going to be a really technical fight. I like Haney, I, but I still, who is he fought? Who is Haney really fought, right? He didn't fight, he didn't fight um, uh, Telefimo Lopez, who had the belts oh. before. You know, he didn't fight him. Why didn't he fight him for the belt? But he fight Gamboza. You know, he fight Ga- he fought Gamboza. Gamboza, I mean, he looks like a... And that for that weight class, he looks really small. So, and look at Haney's record. He's fought some, you know, he's fought a lot of fights. He's fought a lot of fights. He's had a lot of fights. How many belts he He's got them all. He's the unified. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, right. he's the he's the unified he's the unified he's got all the belts, so <clears throat> he, you know, those were Loma's belts. So it, it's going to be Loma's yep. trying to get his belts back, and if he gets his belts back, I think whoever wins that fight, uh, Tank should go after. I agree with you. He to go after that. I agree Shakur, with you. Sh- Shakur still needs. Needs to build his following. He's a great boxer. Shakur Stevenson is a great boxer. He's going to be great. Uh, but he's still growing. You know what I mean? He's still... He's still we, don't know if it, we don't know if he's going to be in that weight class or he's going to get bigger. We still don't know yet. And plus, he hasn't fought that, you know, caliber, high caliber talent. Right. His, um, I like his style. His style, you know. But, you know, as far as... Um, um, he's under um, bomb. Bomb. He's under oh, bomb. Oh, yep, bomb. Um, um, he's not putting enough fight for him. I think, but he's starting to win more fight, but I think he should put some good fights. He need to fight somebody that's good. And that's one thing that Bob Arum does is he takes his time with his fighters. Yeah. He, he takes his time. Uh, and I think that's one reason why Tank. I think that's one reason why Tank wanted to get away from Mayweather because Mayweather was trying to go that same mold. And Tank was like, no, nah, man, I want the best. I want to fight the hard fight. He's hungry now. He's hungry now. Yeah. He's hungry now. Yep. And yep. then you go look at their background, right? Uh, they said that Garcia has been boxing since he was seven, right? Tank has probably been boxing about the same amount. But you, you look at the two backgrounds, right? Tank... Tank had to fight in the streets, had to fight in the boxing ring. You know, you know his mother was on drugs, so he has a hard. He just has a hard. He had a hard life growing up as a child, so I think, I think his mentality, he has that killer mentality. So what he says he's gonna do, he's gonna do. When it comes to Ryan Garcia, he was just acting. Yeah, right, right. But he, he knows he's not. Well. He told everybody he wasn't scared, you know. But at the same time, in other heart, you know, he knew that uh, I got to be careful with this, this, this. But he, but he took a punch and he got knocked down and he came back, you know, from it. Though, but mm-hmm. he got some work to do. He got a lot of work to do. Yeah, a lot, he's of, got work a lot of work to do. Yeah. Okay, so that, I mean, that again, it was a great fight. I can't wait to see what's up next for Tank Davis. Like I said, I. I haven't been this excited about boxing since um, since Mike Tyson. Yeah. People say Floyd Mayweather. Uh, it, Floyd Mayweather fights are boring. Well, he had beat everybody. <laughs> they, like, like I always say, he's probably the greatest defensive player or defensive boxer we've ever seen. 
by what I mean by that is he doesn't get hit. But he will hit you. He doesn't get hit. He's the great, but it doesn't make for exciting boxing. His boxing, you can't sit here and tell me that his boxing matches were exciting. They were not. I think it was exciting myself. No, I mean, if you can't get hit, if you can't get hit, why not use that? So, go about the thing with take a lot of punches. Yeah, he gets, he gets hit. He's a lot. He definitely gets hit. That's what I want. That, that's what I would like to see when it comes to boxing. And again, I think like he was so skilled on defense, Floyd was so skilled on defense that a lot of the people that he boxed really didn't really didn't get to him. You know, so it made for, you know, 12. And it's not like he was knocking people out either. No, Floyd was know, knocking people out. Um, uh, at the beginning, then after that, his um, power was gone after that. You know, but he'll beat you up. No, like the Curtis even he ain't got no power too, but he beats you up. No, yeah. so he he um go for the point. That's what he yeah. go for the point. Yeah, he, he definitely goes for the uh, point. He's... But do you think that um they if they both went the distance between uh, Ryan and um um Tank, if they even went the distance, Tank might have been in trouble. Yeah, because I saw the scorecard. They saw the scorecard even. Even on the scorecard uh, with the um, with that second round knockout, they didn't give him a 10-8 round. None of the judges gave him a 10-8 round, which normally um, happened. Wait, I, I thought I thought one of them didn't. No, uh, none of them. A, none of them gave him a 10-8 round. Wow. So yeah, and, and that's one other thing about boxing, man. That's that's terrible. That's terrible. Yeah. You, you don't know what's gonna happen. And you don't want to leave it. It's, it's sad that you can't leave it into the hands of the judges. They might not like the way you're boxing. They might not like your uniform. Who knows what they're looking at? Right. So that's why I think you got to knock you out. Right. Pick you out and knock you out now. I think it was Nate Campbell and Manny Pacquiao. When they fought, when Pacquiao came back and they fought in Australia or somewhere in there, they showed the punch stats of how many times Pacquiao hit hit that guy. It was like overwhelmingly uh, from jabs to body blows to head shots. They should show the, the, the CompuBox numbers. And Pacquiao lost that fight. Um, oh, yeah. That was, yeah, yeah, he did. He did. It was over Not team. Nate Campbell. Yeah, I forgot um, what his name was. Um, I think it was Campbell. Might have been Campbell. I think um, his name was Campbell. I'm not sure. Brandon fought him. Brandon fought him too. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. Don't know his name. Yeah, but but he clearly won that fight. He won that fight, but he got robbed in that fight. Yep. Yep. Right. Yeah. So that's one thing they I wish they would clean up with boxing is that because you got you got all this technology now that can count. You know how many times you've been hit hit clean, how many you've been blocked. How many power shots you shot? How many jabs connected? How many body blows connected? Those are points. The computer computer will show you, hey, this person won. Right. That's how it's supposed to be. That's what it was. It was that way before. So right. I don't know why they're trying to change the game. Well, right. they go on by uh, social media, social media, and they whoever got the highest social media to look, give it to them. Yeah. Ooh. Whoever, whoever brings in the most eyes or the most ticket sales, they're they trying to, you know, you've got up and coming fighter who's undefeated and it's a close fight. You basically got to knock them out or the judges are going to give it to them. You don't know if they're getting payola from the promoters to make sure he, you know, right. he makes it. So, it, yeah, it's kind of yep. kind of iffy when it comes to the judges in boxing. Right, right. You know, and I'm th- I'm glad that um like you said earlier that um it was an excited um fight because um they both everybody wanted to see the best fight you right. know, and our uh, fan base wanted to see it too you know, and uh, we need more of that we need a lot more than that yeah this Especially year boxing yeah this year well there's a lot of good fights coming up uh, like I said you got the uh, uh, Lomachenko Lomachenko and Devin Haney fight. Uh, you've got, um, I was waiting for um, to kill Stevens and um, Pinball. I thought I don't know what they were working on. I don't know. Ooh. 
That would be a good fight. I would like to see how Shakur handles that. Um, I want to see if how he handles it. You think he? Do you think he could handle it well? I think he can handle it because he has that um, not the young Floyd Mayweather style, but he got the old Floyd Mayweather style. He don't even move around. He down. And he got that little defense with it, and he got a style. He got a style. Mm -hmm. so I, I think he can handle him. Pimple is gonna be wild with it, but Pimple is good. He's yeah. hard too. He's harder than uh, to cut the team. Yeah. So May twentieth, uh, May twentieth is the Devin Haney, uh, Velasi. Uh, I can't. I hate his first name. I can't say I hate his first name. I just can't pronounce his first name. Lomachenko. <laughs> yeah, we got Lomachenko. Um, then we got uh, Josh Taylor v versus uh, Telefimo Lopez. That's June 10th. I think that's going to be a really good fight, the Josh Taylor uh, Telefimo uh, fight. Uh, and uh, those are really the main headline, headline fights that are coming up. Uh, do you think they're going to get the fight made between? Crawford and Spence. This is what I'm talking about. This is what we need. But um, I, I can, you know what? Well, they they been pipe. They been playing with the fans. No, but yeah. um, I'm hoping that they will fight because we all want to see who's the best between them two, pound for pound. You know. Yeah. But um, I'm going with Crawford. Yeah, I agree. They both been talking a lot of smack. I like Crawford in that one. Um, it, it, Crawford is just, uh, he's a tactician. He, it's almost like he know he, he figures you out. He figures you out quickly, too. Yeah, and he got both he hands. He got, yeah, he's ambidextrous, so he got both hands. I don't like, um, I don't like the fact that he starts slow. He's a, he starts slow. So about the third, fourth round, he turns it on. Mm -hmm. And if he gets behind on those cards with Spence and Spence decides to box, you know, and stay away from him, he could lose on points. He's going to lose a lot of points because Spence is going to be aggressive. You no, know, right. Spence is going to go off of that body to him, especially if they have close to him. You know, I, I'm I'm giving to Spence. I like Spence, too. I can't take it away from him. But I, I, against Crawford, I just like Crawford better. You know, but Spence is, um, I don't think he um, have enough movement. But no, I can't take it from him because he's a good boxer. He's a great boxer. Yeah. You know, but I just feel that um, Crawford will win. Yeah, I have I have the same thing. Yeah, Spence's defense is a little... Deep in, both of them yeah, don't have good defense. Both of them. Both of them don't have good defense. I like here. Crawford's. I like Crawford's defense a little bit better because he moves a lot more. Even though his defense is, but he he moves his head a lot more than Spence does. Spence doesn't move a whole lot. He doesn't waste a lot of energy in the ring. Even when he selects his punches, he makes sure those punches are gonna land. All uh, every round. Yep. Yep. He doesn't waste a lot of energy. Yep, but I've never seen him do any up uppercut. Spence? Yeah. Now that you mention it, I can't. Crawford does seen uppercut. It. Oh, yeah, Crawford. Crawford's got, he's got great angles. Crawford's got great angles when he's in the ring. Uh, he's an amazing fighter, too. But we haven't seen him in a while. He's been un inactive. You know, it's like we've seen Tank fight twice this year already. Yeah, normally they put the fight three times a year. Well, mm -hmm. yeah, three times a year. Back in the day, they were fighting 15 times a year. <laughs> right. So, and going 15 rounds. And going 15 rounds. And now everybody's talking, talking, maybe get one fight a year or none. Right. They're still getting paid through um, the medium. And, and, and a lot, of, and some of the professional fights go eight rounds and 10 rounds. I'm like, why are we watching an eight round and a ten round fight, man? This is bull. This ain't boxing. Right, 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 right. Eight and ten rounds should be amateurs. It shouldn't be professional fights. Right, it should be amateurs. It shouldn't be professional. No. 
Uh, well, what about, you got um, you got the people that um from the um, um, you call it um, on the computer, what they call it um, uh, YouTube, YouTube, YouTube fighter. Get oh yeah, they get more um fan base, more money involved yeah, you're in it. About, you're talking about the Paul brothers. No. I can't stand them, man. I, I can't stand them. I can't stand them. I'm glad he lost. I'm glad he's I'm glad he lost. But you know, he he basically made a new niche. He's got a new niche. He he he's a boxer now. You know, he he's truly a boxer. They're, they're doing boxing matches, setting up boxing matches, so um you can't knock him for for what he's doing. He does take it seriously. You can see him in the gym working out. So he, he wants to be a boxer. Right, but right. He, right. Jumps in the, he jumps in the ring and fights Bugs Bunny. That's not, <laughs> no. Oh, right. I just can't stand them too. Yeah. But, but they, they they making money over there. You know, and, and it's making boxing look bad. Yeah. We got an expedition, expedition, you know, yeah, and, yeah. and that's making it look bad. So they need to do something better with that. Cause we basically we was going down, down, down. And Ryan yeah. Garson and um and uh Tank, they're, they're bringing it back up. That's the start. Right. That's the start. Well, the pro the promoters are losing money because these other fights, these exhibition fights, are making more money. Like Floyd Mayweather and, and the Paul brothers, those are making more. Of, more money and on getting more eyes than the fights that they're promoting. People, people don't want to watch that. People want to see the best fight the best. And I think, like you said, with the Ryan Garcia and the Tank Davis fight, they just put it on a whole new plateau and level. Hey, the best have to fight the best in order for boxing to survive. Ryan, Ryan, I agree. I agree. Yeah, so... So we uh, that's our that's our uh, recap of the Ryan Garcia Tank Davis. Congratulations, Tank Davis! Can't wait to see him fight that's again. Uh, I think the next fight, uh, all the guys from uh, Royal Court and Idiot Box Television should watch it in Florida. That's right. <laughs> well, we appreciate you guys tuning in. See you next yep. time. Yep. Peace. Peace.